I'm going to share a very easy way to have students, parents, teachers, anybody upload files from a mobile device or a computer to you and have it go directly into your Google Drive with really no work. This works really well if you have shared iPads or mobile devices in a classroom where you don't have students signing into the Google Drive app. You can go directly to a web link, you can upload videos, images, anything you'd like, and it shows up directly in your drive. So this is very easy. It does involve writing some script or changing some script. I'll be the first to tell you I have zero experience with scripts, so don't panic. This is very easy. All you have to do is change a couple words and you're good to go. So the first thing you need to do is get a copy of the script. And I have it here if you go to this bit.ly, that will take you to a copy of the script that you can edit for yourself. So what that does is it gets us to right here. Now this is basically just a really cool script that works in Drive. Right now you have a view only option. So what you'll want to do is go over to the file button and go down to make a copy. And it will take a second to generate. And I'm going to go ahead and close out the original one. And now this is my copy. So I'm just going to call this upload to drive. You can name it anything you like, but that way I know what the name is so I can find it in my drive again. This is a bunch of language that, to be honest, like I was saying, I don't write script, but the only thing that I need to do and change on this is right here on line 12, you're going to change work collector to whatever you want to name that folder within your drive. So I will say upload folder. You can name it anything else. In my regular drive, I have it upload to me so that it's towards the bottom of my drive folders. Then all you need to do is go over here to publish, deploy as web app. This box will come up. You can now want to make sure that who has access to this. You can have it anybody in your domain, but I would recommend you do it anyone, even anonymous. That would allow it to come from iPads or parents or basically anybody like that. I will click the deploy button. You do have to authorize it, just like any other Google tool. I'm going to go ahead and allow access. And now it has been deployed. All you need to do is copy this web link right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to say OK. Open that up in a brand new tab. And what I would do is either make this link a QR code or make it a bit.ly or a tiny URL so it's very easy for students or parents to go to. Once I go there, this is what a student will see. They'll put their name in. They'll choose the file they want to upload. So I'll go to my desktop and I will upload a Dunsummer Institute image I have. I'll click OK, open, and I will click Upload File. It's that simple. So if you're on an iPad and used a QR code, it would automatically go to that link, give them the option. It tells them successfully uploaded. Now within my drive, I'm going to have, here's this brand new folder that just got created from that script. And when I open that, inside that folder is that image that I just uploaded. Super easy, very convenient. You get a web link, anybody can upload to your drive. I highly recommend using that with students to share things to you, especially when they can't sign into a device. Hope that helps.